Salut I'm Peach, today I give you not one, not two, not three, not 15 tips about macro photography. If you are using a flash or other artificial light, early morning is the best time of the day to shoot insects. Not only because they are not yet very active, but also because you may find them covered with dew. And those little droplets of water may add some interest to your photos. This carpenter bee, for example, was always taking off and landing on the same three or four plants. So I positioned myself right in front of one of uh, its favorite plants and it took a few minutes before she landed right in front of my camera. Also with experience you will see that some insects are cooperative depending of uh, your approach and others are not. As a rule of thumb, do not chase butterflies and you will save a lot of time. It is better in my opinion to have 50 pictures of your subject and uh, choose the best one among them instead of just a few and discover at home that uh, none of them has the eye really in focus. I remember the first time I saw a thorn mimic tree hopper 10 months ago. I took 20 pictures of it. I thought I have some good photo, but once I checked them at home, I was a bit disappointed. So buy at least a 65 gigabyte memory card and shoot a lot. What I mean by go low is uh, you have to experiment different angles depending on the shape of your subject and uh, what part of your subject is interesting. A portrait is often a good idea, but uh, try from the side, from under, from the top, uh, just try and take many pictures. You want to limit camera movement as you know. The best to achieve it is to lay on the ground to have your camera or your lens touching against a tree or something solid. The second best is to make a bridge between your subject and your camera by holding the branch or the leaf where your subject is. The last option is to hold your camera with two hands. Use your head as well for more stability. Brace out and click. Take mini pictures to multiply your chances. Think about your composition. When you take a picture, you want your subject to stand out. By just moving yourself a bit in any direction, you can improve your image greatly. Here an example. I was really trying to get a lot of that spider in focus and I didn't see that blurry leaf in the foreground. Here again, this time it's a blurry flower in the foreground. Also, of course, catching your subject in a beautiful spot like a flower will add to the interest of a photo compared to a wall, for example. You want the eyes uh, in focus, like uh, you would do with any humans. However, sometimes you may want to focus in another interesting part. We can appreciate the texture and, uh, and the colors in, uh, in this case. You want to back up your flash and your camera with at least a second battery ready to go. Because it is always when you have a lot of fun that one of your battery will die. You don't want to be that guy, stressful, going straight, always moving forward, walking, walking, hoping to find the perfect subject. No. Most of the insects see you anyway and hide before you can see them, especially those beloved and so cute jumping spiders. You want to stop, sit down, take a moment, observe, maybe look under the leaf. 
this is the way. If you want to see a lot more subjects, maybe you are shooting only insect and you want to try mushrooms or flowers or dead leaves, water droplets. Maybe you want to try black and white. Maybe you was doing a lot of close-up like butterflies and dragonfly and you want to experiment more with bigger magnification. Maybe you want to try using a tripod. Maybe you want to try with a flash or with ambient light. Experimenting with other subject and style will improve your macro photography for sure. Even trying styles out of the macro world like street landscape, astro portraits, birds and others. Any styles uh, that you try will make you more knowledgeable and will uh, make uh, you a better macro photographer. You can take amazing photos with any camera coupled with a cheap one-to-one -one, uh, ratio lens like my first 7 Artisan 65mm macro for example. I started myself with a 400 US dollar Olympus TG5 and I was so surprised when I shot this bee in Switzerland, then that wasp in Palawan a few weeks later. You know what they say, the best camera is the one you have with you. And that brings me to the tip number 12. I see some uh, YouTubers that are starting to cheat on their big main camera with some more sexy smaller sensors. If you don't know what camera to choose and you want to shoot mainly macro, I would invite you to consider Micro Four Third for four reasons. A smaller sensor means a bigger subject in the frame, means more depth of field, means a smaller camera, means a lighter weight and some of the macro for third camera like the OM1 have a very good uh, in-camera focus bracketing and stacking. Okay that's five reasons I guess. The one you see is an upgrade of the one I presented in another video that I will link on the screen and also in the, the comment section below. It is a 8 liter plastic bottle, solid, light, durable, cut here and here. I glued some aluminum foil inside. I added one white opaque plastic in the front and that's it. Once you have all your settings in place, you should register them in one of the customization button if your camera has such button. All my birds photography settings are registered in the, the custom one, my macro settings uh, in the custom two, and my normal settings with uh, human eye detection for example in custom three. Macro is a fun hobby, enjoy it and uh, don't try to compete with other. You may have seen incredibly amazing photo with high magnification and uh, several stacks on Facebook and other platforms, but it is often a dead insect glued and spread with sticky water, probably shot in a kitchen. Not always of course. What matters is that you are happy with your images and the process of doing photography. Shoot in manual mode with a flash. If you want to see how I am doing it, I'll explain to you in this video on my left. And this is one of my first videos, so be nice. Thank you for watching. I will add some uh, secondary tips on your screen. And uh, I hope you liked my little video. I see you on the next one. Cheers.